Welcome to Android Weekly, my name is Jace, and this week we get to talk about some real goodies right from what the head or director of Android User Experience, Matthias Duarte, said is the single most exciting thing to come to the Nexus 5, to what experimental edition has been added to KitKat that could potentially change Android as we know it. I know, you're thinking that's hyperbole, and one of you said I'm probably on math. I am not, but it does have something to do with speed. Now to start off, let's talk about the new Google Keyboard. What's new in the Google Keyboard? It now has rationalized punctuation across different device sizes, inserted emoji entry points and layouts, simplified mini keyboard on full stop long press, deblued press dates, added space aware gesture typing, so now you won't have to lift your finger while gesture typing, except for when you go to the space bar. Moving on to the latest Hangouts update, the latest Google Hangouts update actually features a newer build version than was found on the Nexus 5. This update seems to fix the video chat and crashing issues that some devices were experiencing with the Nexus 5 version of the app. If you have yet to try out the new version, the biggest change here is the SMS integration. There's also new animated GIFs and the ability to share your location during a chat. 4.4 KitKat unofficially arrives for the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. You see, when 4.4 KitKat was released last week with the promise to also be released to most of the older Nexus devices, Samsung Galaxy Nexus owners were happy. But then it was revealed shortly afterwards that Nexus owners wouldn't be getting KitKat through any official release. Yes, and they cried a little bit. Oh my god! But the good news is, is that the developer community is rallying to the support of those Samsung Galaxy Nexus owners, at least in an unofficial capacity. When available, you can find the links below to get your version of 4.4 KitKat. You'll feel right as rain. The new Google Experience Launcher is basically a revamped Google Search Google Now app with launcher functions that are currently exclusive to the Nexus 5. It may not come to Android devices at all, including other Nexus models, according to Matthias Duarte, the director of Android User Experience. Although you can download the APK for the Google Experience Launcher, provided in the links below. So why would Matthias report to The Verge that this launcher is the single most exciting thing about the Nexus 5? Well, think about this for a moment. If Google puts search front and center of every product that it builds, it certainly seems to be doing that, it would then extend the greatest value to the user. So at the moment, it only applies to the home screen, the Google, uh, Google Now app, and the launcher. So to follow up on what Mateus has said, could then they be thinking of extending that feature to third-party apps? Think of the possibilities. I could be watching Game of Thrones and at the same time search for the name and history of that amazing redhead without having to leave the app. I know what you're thinking. You know nothing, Jace, bro. Let's talk Android KitKat ROMs. For those who don't mind going the unofficial route, Android 4.4 KitKat ROMs already exist for the Nexus 4 and 7, and even the Verizon and GSM variants of the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Now it looks like we can add three more devices to the list. The GSM HTC One, the Sony Xperia Z, and the Sprint Taurus Plus version of the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Now moving on to the M8, otherwise known as the successor to the HTC One. We know, for instance, that HTC is currently working on the successor to the popular one, due in the first quarter of 2014. According to EV Leaks, the device is codenamed internally M8. You see, the HTC One was codenamed M7, and will be the first device to run HTC's Sense 6 Android overlay. Let's talk about KitKat's experimental feature. You see, deep within KitKat is a feature that could potentially have a significant impact on user experience, and it is called Art. No. Not that type of art. I'm talking about Android Runtime. Now, it is meant to replace the aging Delvic, and Delvic is a process virtual machine that's basically responsible for running uh, Android apps on Android devices. But it's slow, and it's aging, and art is fast. So fast that it has effectively halved the execution time of all the applications thrown at it thus far. So, even on old Galaxy Note devices, I'd be like, Thoom. But right now, I'm more like... LG G2 Android 4.4 KitKat update tip for November or December. A French mobile operator revealed on its smartphone software update page that the LG G2 will be updated to Android 4.4 KitKat in the following weeks. 
without providing an actual update date. It was listed November or December 2013 as the expected KitKat update period for LG's flagship smartphone, which is what the Nexus 5 is largely based on. Now look into Samsung in 2014 and beyond. Peering further into the future, Samsung hopes to have UHD, also known as 4K displays, on the market by sometime in 2015. While the benefits of such a high resolution are debatable, Samsung and other display manufacturers are clearly going to push the envelope in this area as much as they can. Now if everything goes according to plan, Samsung will move to have the current high-end resolution standard, Full HD, move to WQHD or 2560 x 1440. So how far can this res war really go? And what's the point of an ever-increasing resolution if it moves beyond what the human eye can appreciate anyway? Seems like things could get really silly. A look at those images. 